The great thing about fundamental research is that on any given day, I could see something, some phenomenon that no one has ever seen before, and I can see the data coming off the instrument. And the downside of that is that 99.99% of the time, that doesn't happen, but there is just that one day that we just get uh, beautiful data and you can see things that no one has ever seen before. That's very exciting. The thing that we're working on is extending the evaluation of biological systems and biological phenomena to three dimensions at high speed. On the market now, the highest end a spinning disk and focal microscope can give you a 3D volume in about a second. Our 3D single particle tracking can do 10 microseconds, so that's five orders of magnitude faster. And the spatial resolution goes from two to 300 nanometers down to 10 to 20 nanometers. So we have a fluorescence image of the probe and we image it on a set of very sensitive photo detectors that tell us if it's moving vertically, horizontally, or in and out of focus. We feed that information into a very fast stage, which moves to counteract any motion the particle has made. So the particle itself sees it, sees its environment and is able to freely move, but we move the entire sample to counteract that movement, it, so it's held in the focus of the objective lens. We combine that technology with a conventional confocal microscope. Uh, and get a two-dimensional image of the area of the plane around wherever the tracking probe is. If the tracking probe is here, I'll image this plane. And as it moves down, I'll image around different areas. And actually, in that way, we hope to build up a three-dimensional image of where the probe has been. But one possible application down the road is the ability to actually externally manipulate the tracking probe within the cell. You could actually drive it to a specific location, maybe deliver biologically important cargo to affect change within a single cell or even an embryo, kind of a, maybe affect genetic change in a very specific way. Pa is a endless spring of information. He's probably the smartest guy I ever met. So any, any technical problem I'm having, there's a good chance he can answer it very quickly. By trade, he's kind of a laser jockey. So he can help with anything that's going on in the lab downstairs. He has a very creative way of thinking about scientific problems. Everyone in the lab, in their own way, works towards the same ultimate goal, which is understanding chemical phenomena in biological systems. So while I may specifically focus on implementing 3D single particle tracking spectroscopy, we have other people who are working on making better tracking probes, or working on bioconjugation techniques to attach things to the probes. Uh, and we have a whole other side of the lab that looks at the functions of proteins and their dynamics and how they move to understand how they function. To be a married guy in research, you have to have a very understanding spouse. Uh, so we were very lucky that my wife found a great place for her where she was studying at Columbia, and I found a great position for me here at Princeton, not too far away. I'm kind of a tinkerer, so I, I like to play with instruments. I like to really get inside things and automate things. And if I can do that on the way to answering important scientific questions, then that's all the better.